Good everyone, so uh, I've been asked to do another video on the GXCS4. This here, by the way, is our Facebook group, so you're quite welcome to come along and join us on there. I was asked to do a follow-up video to this one. I've done two videos on the GXCS4. The first one was the unboxing of it and showing you what you got with the product. This video here was of the one where I used the inline filter and I did a I used a decibel meter to record how loud it was when it was running and also at the length of time that it took to fill. Somebody's asked me the question, what's the difference in fill time when I'm using an external air stroke water filter? This is the GXCS4. Uh, as you can see, it's a you know, great product. You, you, some of you may be well accustomed to it. It's got a water tank, a grease pot, the dual gauges, it's got, it runs on 12 volts, which you have an external power supply. Uh, they do do one with a, a GXCS4E, and they also do an I, which has the internal power supply, but then you've got the fans and it's heavier and everything else. Um, and then there's the Tuxin 4500 um, air filter, which I'm going to be using today. This is purely just to see the additional time it takes to push the air through this to bring it up to equalized pressure before it starts filling. So I will have the golden part in there with the hose. I won't be having that top piece in, but um, without further ado, let's get into it, eh? So here we have the rather crude setup with the air filter masking tape to my monopod, but it will work for this. Added some pressure into there, so it's now at 150, which is similar to the previous video. So we're comparing apples to apples, essentially. So there's nothing going through at the moment. I'm now going to close the valve and then I'm going to start the stop pump. So it's presently creeping up to equalize that pressure in that line and the filter. Yeah, so 45 seconds, we're coming up to just about, I'll tell you when it reaches 100 bar on the compressor. The right, compressor's just reached 100 bar, so the pressure's equalised up to 100 bar here, but we've got to get it up to 150 before it will start filling the tank. I'd say we're close to 150 now, so hopefully soon we'll start to see some movement on this gauge. Yep, there's definitely movement on that gauge now. So two minutes and say 35 seconds. And now we're starting to fill the actual tank itself from 150 bar. So we've just gone past 200 bar. We're about 240, 
245. So it's just finished. 7 minutes 46. And here's the results. So 5 minutes 13 seconds with the inline filter and 7 minutes 46 seconds with the tuxing large cylinder filter. It took 2 minutes 35 seconds to bring it up to pressure before it started filling up the FX Impact bottle. So yeah, if you want clean, dry air, take on board that it's going to take a little bit longer to fill, but you're not going to ruin your rifle in the long run.